I'd like to thank Easy Click for sending me the Fush Nano 2 review. If you look down below, there's a link to their website and there's also a link to my more in depth review. Thanks, Easy Click. Straight on with the specs, it's 102 long by 19.3 wide. It's got 1.5 mil capacitor and it's 550 milliamp hour battery. Thank the Lord, it's got USB-C charger. Now, I didn't actually tell you much about resistance apart from it handles 1.4, but for a bit of digging and diving, it's got definitely got a minimum of 0.9 ohms. Um, I don't know what the mic is, but like I said, the pods are 1.4, so... I'd probably guess at three. Charges at one amp and it can give out seven or ten watt. Obviously that means it's got adjustable wattage, it's also got adjustable airflow. As I've just stated, it's got USB-C. The USB-C port is also hidden. Bottom firing button and drawer activation. Overtime protection, overload protection. Low voltage protection, so short, 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 short circuit protection. Reverse protection, high temperature protection. Different light functions and an auto cut off of 30 minutes. And it'll go on standby, well it'll turn off in 30 minutes of inactivity. Oh dear god, thank god that's over. Right, the uh, Fush Nano is a pod system. As you probably could tell, it looks exactly like a smaller version of the Fush Mech mod. See? Exactly. Even got a bottom fire. It's got 12 volts around the bottom for your airflow. The USB-C charging port's hidden quite nicely. I like the design of it. It's really well designed. When you press five buttons to turn on, or turn off in this case, it goes through the lights. It's got acro written on the back, force written on the front. You can have it as constant light, and then just tap it to change the colour. Or shake it, but it's quite a sensitive a tap will do. Happy days. It's got breathing. Tap it twice, and whenever you take a drag. Or if you tap it, it changes colour. Disable if you quite like the colour that's on. Press the button twice, and it'll lock it into colour with two red white flashes. <laughs> and you can also unlock that. It's also got a loop of lights. Press it four times. And it'll constantly... Oh, no. Turn it back on. Back on. Press it four times. Dear shit. Press it four times. And it'll loop through the lights. It's so pretty. It's pretty much all we've got to say. Draw activation. Gives you 7 watts. Button activation gives you 10 watts. Change the airflow. If you look on the bottom. I know you can't see because my cam camera's not that good. On the bottom you've got two air holes. Inside you've also got two air holes. But apparently. That. Turn it out. Take it out. Turn it 180 degrees. Put it back in. Is a different airflow. There's two different airflows built in on the pod, and only one works at any given time, which I don't quite understand because there's two air holes in the system. Whatever. Now they said it takes 40 minutes to charge. I can get a charge on that even with a 2 amp plug. I think I generally about 50 minutes, I think I said. Uh, maybe up to one hour and a half on a 1 amp plug. I don't know. But I did try two different plugs a 1 amp plug, a 2 amp plug, and I still couldn't get 40 minute, 50 minute charge. Sorry guys, I don't think that's very good. I tried it on direct lung and it weren't that good, I got a little bit of dry burn. I tried it on VG and although I didn't really expect much of it, I thought the wicking of the tank would be a bit too hard, uh, narrow. It did pull it through quite well, no flavour though. Which also leads me on to say the rest of the pod's crap too. <laughs> Seriously. It is good and on the easy click rating I get it quite a good uh, rating. Because it is a good system. The downside is there's not much flavour. It's one of them sort of systems, if you leave it for half an hour and have a puff, you get really good flavour, but that flavour's not consistent. I did try it with uh, some Gotsol, and I also tried it with Vampire Vapes Heisenberg, and the Vampire Vapes Heisenberg did provide a better taste, and more consistent taste, but it's still not the bod... It's still not the best pod for tasting, guys. Flavour! Not the best pod for flavour! Quite ingeniously, if you screw the top off, you release the inner pod if you like, it's, it's still the same pod, don't get excited. Remove this bung, that's where you fill it. It's, it's, it's really not hard. 
Now, I know some of you might be thinking, oh, he rewigged for Biden, he's going to rewig this. And I tried, head over to Easy Click to see the picture. There is no actual viable way of doing it. The legs are siliconed in, so it stops leaking. So you can do it, but I don't really think it's that worth it, to be fair. So there you go, guys. It is a really good pod, but if you're a massive on flavour, then there is other pod systems out there that provide a better flavour. Sorry, guys. But like I said, it is good. And I do like playing with it. It wouldn't be a proper Vape Mill Holly review if I didn't give it away. So one of you lucky buggers is going to get it. You know what you got to do? The act blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what you got Fuck's sake. You know what you got to do, guys? Comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. And at some point next week, seven days from now, I will pick somebody at random using an online comment picker to win. Read the terms and conditions because you'll probably have to pay postage, you have to be 18, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, guys, seriously, make sure you read the terms and conditions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, thumbs up, all that malarkey. Comment down below to let me know what you think. Any advice is always appreciated. Um, and what's that other thing I'm meaning to say? Shit, what is it? Um, something that's really important and not to forget. Oh. Stay cloudy!